Mm. Uh, good morning, people. It is Saturday. This is Mr. Critic, and I'm back. Uh, it has been a week since I did the last uh, video. Uh, well, on last Saturday, my computer stopped working and uh, on Tuesday it was repaired and then I also took a few days off since um, I was you know getting <laughs> too much into this LP recording every day you know <laughs> I've had like I will start <laughs> saying things like uh, hey folks now we are going to the toilet and uh, I think I'm gonna regret having all this that spicy food last night. <laughs> oh my god, yes, it is even worse than expected. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I really admire those people that are recording every day four or five different games. I mean, wow. Uh, but yeah, now we are back. Um, also, uh, sorry, uh, those of you who are waiting for the special edition of Berlin. Uh, I will do it, but you know, today when I woke up, I was thinking, uh, should I do Kursk, my favorite scenario of the entire campaign, I would say, or the second most difficult defensive scenario for Germany? And uh, you know what? I <laughs> I've been working really hard, and I I want to do something that I can really enjoy and not think too much, uh, just a little, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying that Kursk is easy, but you know what I mean. So, but yes, I will do Berlin. Don't worry, folks. Uh, I promised, but I don't know. During next week, I think, if I have a day off, especially then. Um, yeah. So this is Kharkov. Uh, I've off-screened it, and this is the last turn. Uh, X is turn 22. I. Uh, needed to do this because as you have seen in a previous video if you have g get a major victory in Kharkov you get to Moscow di directly so mm -hmm. Moscow 43 sorry just checking something and then there is no Kursk so with the minor in Kharkov we get to Kursk um, just casualties the Soviets didn't have plenty of units uh, we destroyed everything and just to see the map that you can see uh, nothing else remains of the Soviet units so this is the last one we will destroy it and proceed to Kursk yes X is minor victory we go on and we save this on I don't know no. Kursk zero zero one the text so we have regained the initiative uh, we need to press our attacks against the Soviets and it is time for the Operation Citadel. Um, now this is, uh, I believe, the largest tank battle in history. Um, after deploying my units I will actually show you uh, what this means. I will show you the map because you have to see it, you know. Uh, the Soviets have plenty of units in a very confined space. So. The good thing about this scenario is that you can win on the very last turn and still get a major victory. And you get the minor by, as you can see, by um, by holding the objectives uh, you co we have at the beginning and um, the Russians do not recapture them, you know. I think it is only one objective, not sure at the moment. But even with the minor victory, it is pretty much the same as defeat, as then the war in the east is lost 
or at least it cannot be won decisively anymore and you get to the defensive scenarios of Belorussia and everything as you have already seen, I did this. So we need to win a major victory. <coughs> we have plenty of prestige and uh, nothing to upgrade, you know. Bridge engineers are at their best. You could, and s I sometimes did in the past, upgrade my tiger wants to panther this. Uh, these are better against armor, but worse against soft targets. And also, um, they have really shitty close defense. And with, as you will see, all the Soviet units very heavily entrenched, uh, you get the rugged defense a lot, even though the tigers have 15 s uh, 5 stars of experience. So, I will stick with the tigers. And m maybe one other thing the most dangerous units here are not Soviet tanks in this scenario but they're highly entrenched and very experienced anti-tank guns and of course the same goes for the infantry so Tiger 1 uh, I think it is a better choice for Kursk so exit we have nothing new in the fighter department this is still the best fighter Focke-Wolf 190 uh, and also the same goes for the tactical bombers, we will keep them until the end of the war, so... So I guess it is time to deploy our units. Mm. See the map? Now I will, after deployment, reveal this, because you will see, wow, <laughs> so many Soviet units. Kursk is actually also <coughs> very easy. Uh, regarding learning where to place, deploy your um, troops since you really can expect where the enemy is hiding. Fortification means an enemy, so the city means an enemy. So we will place one bridge engineers here, uh, one here, one here, and as you can see, we already see this infantry here, so we will place uh, our bridge engineers here. Okay? Now for the south, again, entrenchments, and yeah, I know, uh, little things, uh, a little bit of what is uh, facing us, so bridge engineers here, here, and here. I would say that bridge engineers this is probably the scenario where they matter the most, you know. Um, it is freaking impossible, you know, to to make progress without them, even though Tiger ones are also very effective. So, now for the Tigers. Five in the south, six in the north. Now, historically, uh, actually, the Germans were stopped in the north, but made good progress in the south. In this game, uh, it is more difficult to advance in the south, but you have to cover less area, so... Five. Tigers. And six tigers here. This is it for the ground units. And uh, now we place our air units. This is a victory objective of Prokhorovka, which means uh, it is very likely covered by an air defense. And this is why we have our two level bombers to deal with air defenses. Here and here. Um, now I would say four fighters in the south, five in the north, and um, about half of tactical bombers south, half in the north. Maybe a little more in the north. Um, okay, so the most experienced here, 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 three in the south, here, here, 
here. Uh, now we have one more elite tactical bomber, so north and one with three stars of experience and here one here here and this is the last one no two more okay here um, so five in the south one two three four five six seven in the north let's place another one in the south this is, like I said many times, not an exact science. You can do it differently, especially with air units, ground units. Uh, I believe this is the best possible deployment, but you can, you know, do it differently, of course. Four fighters in the south, five in the north, and then I think it would be it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you also have some auxiliary air units and lots of auxiliary ground units. But this I will do after a pause, so now I will save this. Uh, Kursk. Zero, zero, 002. I will take a little pause and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, before I continue, I'm very happy that now um, one of my countrymen is also watching and commenting um, my videos. Welcome, my friend. Um, he has also requested that I do a minor in England and um, show how to deal with Balkans and Crete and uh, North Africa. I, I will. Um, I never particularly liked um, these scenarios, but I did them a couple of times. So, yeah, sure, why not? Um, <laughs> if I have a picture of Rommel um, as my avatar, it only seems fair that I do some desert warfare against the British, so <laughs> why not? Okay, now, I, like I promised, I, I want to show you this map. It is not for cheating purposes. Those of you who think I'm cheating, well, think. <laughs> I need to show you this, look. Now, this is the Air Force, Russian Air Force, uh, better than the beginning, still nothing to worry about, but Look at the ground forces. Oh my god. You see all those stars. Look. Everything with an entrenchment of eight. Artilleries, you know, air defenses. Uh, entrenchment of eight. Two stars of experience. For most units, bridge engineers have three stars of experience. And entrenched. You know, everybody is entrenched. Tanks have entrenchment of two, yes. But uh, everything else, entrenchment of eight. Which is almost the maximum. You know, so, oh my, <laughs> no more cursing, but, you know, this is huge. And look at all the tanks, tank reserves. But like I said, tanks, even though there are a lot of them, are not the main problem. I, I'll tell you what is the problem. Uh, this guy here, or this one. <coughs> Hard attack of 14, supported by artillery, the heaviest artillery. It can actually do some serious damage to even the most experienced tanks. Even my 15, uh, 5 stars, 15 strength tigers. So, yeah. But <laughs> I had to show you this. Okay, now, of course, we will turn this off. I forgot where everybody is. <laughs> and I will um, start with. Uh, as for the auxiliary units, I will keep them. Um, they will not be moving for the first, maybe even first couple of turns, since they are not up to this job, you know, and uh, I do not want to risk them. They will just stay put, with the exception of these uh, JP elephants, uh, which are great, uh, great anti-tanks. 
So, yes, we can start now. We will level bump the city of Prokhorovka. We have triggered air defense, but suffered no casualties. And now, since we see this air defense, we will attack it and deplete most, if not all, of its ammo. This time we did suffer some damage, so... But you can see, current ammo, zero. So... Mm, uh, yeah, now we can bring in our um, most powerful um, tactical bombers. Excellent. And so as not to only use our Luftwaffe, now we will break this first line of line of defense with our bridge engineers. Which is always a good idea since you see what I mean. Um, why risk our heavy tigers? You know, if we can use our infantry. Excellent. Ah, shit. This didn't go as well as I expected. Mm. Okay. We bring this heavy dude here. And now we destroy... We will use the tanks for this because I want my Luftwaffe to be free to, to you know, advance. And we have plenty of time in this scenario, since we need to take all of the victory objectives uh, um, by the last turn, you know. So. Um, This is the only bad thing about the JP Elephant, that it can only move uh, three hexes. Otherwise it is pretty much the same as Yacht Panther. Mm -hmm. I hope this will... Not sure. Why? Perhaps I can... Yeah, I will cross the river. Since this infantry is weakened, even if we get rugged defense, uh, no serious damage is expected. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Perfect, actually. So, now we attack this anti-tank. Now here rugged defense is a real possibility and if we get rugged defense we will also suffer some losses. Ah, yeah. No. Thank you. No losses but 
okay. Uh, we achieved something. Now we strafe this surviving infantry. Uh, I mean anti-tank, sorry. attack uh, this infantry good and we bring forward one of our tigers where hmm defense you see these units are so highly entrenched that even the edge in experience doesn't always help so we will bump this anti-tank now only one expect it but nothing, you know, because of the entrenchment. Um, so we will not attack now this anti-tank head-on, but this one, since it is weakened, I hope sufficiently. Yeah. <coughs> And now we need to be careful, you know, because these uh, tactical bombers with two stars of experience can and will be attacked by enemy fighters uh, if they get an opportunity. So we need to be careful. So now we fly here to block the passage uh, to this tactical bomber. And with this remaining tactical bomber, we will attack this anti-tank gun. This time with a lot more success, which is excellent for the experience. Yeah. And now what? We do not need to protect these level bombers. On the other hand, I can establish a sort of a protective screen here and hope that... Ah, damn, I should have, you know, <laughs> taken notes where uh, the Soviet Air Force was when I was showing you the terrain, but... Ah. Nothing I can do about it just now. Um, yeah. Let us go for this protective shield. So, here, and another fighter here, and then the Soviets will have to fly all the way around to get to my tactical bombers. No result, but you know, we are lower, lowering the entrenchments, which is always important. Mm, now here. Very good. This will suffice, but just in case, maybe another fighter here. And now nothing can get to our unprotected uh, tactical and level bombers. So, yeah. Uh, as for 
these auxiliaries. Not sure just yet. Let us go north. So now we attack and probably destroy this um, submachine gun infantry. No, but we will finish it off with this artillery, which is also good. And stay put, of course, for the first turn, at least. Good. Uh, and now uh, we attack this infantry. Try a little bit harder, please, next time. So now we will use this JP Elephant to finish off this infantry. Bam. Excellent. I didn't save this on play, did I? So I will save this now on play. Um, little pause, I need another cup of coffee, then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> one thing that you may find or may not find amusing or interesting. Before I started with the LP, I sent a file from Panzer General Forever to my dear friend and an excellent LPR Alpha Pi Omega uh, and it was actually the Kursk um, scenario in the campaign and in that scenario I have managed to finish this in 8 turns so <laughs> Alpha if you're watching this I hope I will not let you down <laughs> You know, uh, it is not a holiday every day, so <laughs> perhaps I, it will take more than eight turns to finish this. Not sure just yet. Okay, now we see what we have to see here. So, we can start bombing the shit out of the enemy in the north. Good. Okay, so there is an artillery and we cannot reach it just yet because of the zones of control. So we will attack this anti-tank gun. Excellent result. Uh, and use a tiger and try to get rid of this anti-tank gun. Good, no ragged defense. Perfect. Now we will bomb this artillery. No, just in case. Didn't do much damage, but something is better than nothing. And also this infantry here. Perfect. Just perfect. And this JP Elephant can now take care of this infantry, I think, I hope. Ragged defense. Still, should work. It didn't. And now we attack this artillery. 
a ragged defense. You will see a lot of this in this video. But since we need to protect our tactical bombers, now our fighter will go here and strafe this uh, crippled artillery. And it also provides protection for the tactical bomber that will attack this anti-tank gun. So. Very good. Now my bridge engineers are free to attack uh, the infantry. Perfect. And I cannot reach this city with my auxiliary units, so I will have to use a tank. Give me a second here. Which one? Uh, this one. Okay. Now we bomb this anti tank. <coughs> and with some luck, I believe we will be able to destroy it with our tiger. Yes. Uh, okay. What to do with the remaining Luftwaffe units? This is a question now. Mm. It is obvious we, we will have to protect um, this tactical bomber. And we'll also have to protect these three tactical bombers, so... Let us do the obvious first, of course. Now, this tank will go here and finish this weakened infantry. And uh, this is a medium anti-tank gun, so I guess we could risk it and attack it with our Tiger. Rugged defense. Hate this shit. <coughs> oh! Fuck. Fuck. You see, this is the problem here enemy is so highly entrenched that even the units that are way below you know um, my units regarding exp experience and everything can do a lot of damage so I guess we can bomb this tank now could have and should have gone much better but it didn't and we protect it by attacking this T-34 with our fighter okay what is hiding here if there is an air defense here I do not dare to attack Either this infantry or this anti-tank. Hmm. Let me check if all the tactical bombers are protected. They are. So 
so I guess we could scout with this fighter and see what is hiding here mm, not good enough much better okay lots of air defenses but not in range of my aircraft so okay we attack this infantry and protect these tactical bombers with two fighters one here the other one here better safe than sorry you know uh, what else do we have two more auxiliary units I'm quite sure that nothing is hiding back here so I will take this infantry in case it gets some idea you know to cross the river and attack the only victory objective I currently hold which is also the way to go if you are playing for the Russians uh, on defense uh, it is possible with some skill and luck to take over this objective very soon and finish this with a allied victory very early in two three four turns maybe so. and we need to protect this tactical bomber so yeah uh, auxiliaries now I guess since I have plenty of prestige I will give most if not all of my auxiliaries um, elite replacements or you know um, transports if they are um, not close to the battlefield this will come handy when we use them to assist you know You need a transport. We will disband um, the flag since it is useless. We will have air superiority in, uh, I don't know, until. Not sure, but. I think we will be able to destroy what is left of uh, of the Red Air Force in two, three turns, maybe, not sure. Mm. Come closer. This man. Elite, elite, elite. Um, why am I doing this? Because uh, I will only, you know, um, upgrade my tanks in the next scenario, which is Moscow 43, and I have plenty of prestige to do this. So let us now save this on Kursk 003, then give the enemy its turn. Um, but prior to that, a little pause. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let us give the enemy its turn. Just let me check the map. Okay. Casualties. Not bad for the first turn. And Nothing. From the beginning, nothing. So... I'm repeating myself, but 
if you get no counter attack from the enemy this means that you, you know you are actually winning decisively so okay now we see the red air force five planes here two here they they fell into a trap here, I guess, so... Yeah. Mm. Uh, this air defense is out of ammo, of course. Uh, so the first thing to do is to destroy these fighters. Attack. Good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, attack. And here. Mm -hmm. So now we continue with attacking the enemy units. Just where to place these level bombers? This is the question now. So I guess first we will <coughs> attack the units that are obvious, you know, obvious targets. Try harder, please. This anti-tank is still a danger, so another attack will be necessary. Perfect. And now I think one, two, two, three, four. Huh. It is better to risk an auxiliary unit, even though uh, my tiger uh, will not do any good on this turn. I stand corrected. Probably I will have to use the tiger to destroy this and I tank once and for all, so, yeah. Good. Now we attack this anti-tank. Excellent result. Finish him. Ah, God damn it. Ah, shit. I hate these entrenchments, you know. So now we will strafe this. Anti-tank gun. Uh, sorry for the mouse. Take this anti-tank gun. Very good. Now we level bomb these bridge engineers. suppressed which is something but not a lot 
and with this tactical bomber we do some serious damage. Current ammo of 1, suppression of 2. So we destroy this artillery. Here. Mm. Now with our bridge engineers we may be able to destroy this air defense with you know transports from hell <laughs> so ah, hey. let us give it a try very good Another one. Rabbit defense. Hmm. Rugged defense with no ammo. <laughs> I love this. Um, you go here. bombers so okay we attack this um, bridge engineers we take over the city of Prokhorovka, our first victory objective. Now we destroy this anti-tank gun. Let us see who is protected and who is not. These bombers are. So yeah, now we will level bomb this uh, infantry and then try to destroy it with our tiger. Tactical bomber here. Now we see what awaits us here. second please ah here is a fighter that hasn't moved yet let us first deal with the Soviet Air Force here in the north Mm. 
no here we attack and most likely destroy this MiG excellent mm. and the same goes for this infantry Perfect. Now for this infantry. Very good. And we go here. Spotting of one, excellent. So on the next turn we cross the river and attack this artillery. Uh, this fighter unfortunately is so near to this air defense that, uh, that if I use a fighter to destroy it the fighter will be attacked on the next turn by this air defense. But I do not have a choice, so I guess we will have to do it. <clears throat> Good. what to do with the rest of our fighters we yeah we will now concentrate on the remaining soviet air force hmm. there is a fighter here Shitty result. So you will have to finish it. Three more airplanes. Um, yeah you will have to do it ah god damn it So you fly here and destroy this fighter. Now for this tactical bomber. Good. And now we block uh, this tactical bomber here, just in case. Mm. Check the map. This fighter hasn't moved yet. And we have plenty of tactical bombers that also haven't moved, so... Okay, time for a little pause, be right back. Yo, I'm back. Uh, where were we? I see, I see. Uh, so we will have to... 
you know what actually I will give more elite replacements to my auxiliary units <laughs> I feel like it so elite elite you come closer elite elite Closer. Ah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, elite. Elite. Mm. Here. So we can bombard this infantry on the next turn. And here. Closer. Closer. Okay, now we are good. I'm wondering if the enemy still has some airplanes left. But since I do not know, know for sure. I will have to pretend that and expect that there are still plenty of air units available for the enemy and I do not want to risk anything. So Very good. Now we are finally making some progress. Mm, two more Luftwaffe units, so one will One will attack this tank. Ah, holy shit. This was bad luck for me and excellent luck. Excellent, very good luck for the enemy. Um, What to do with this last remaining tactical bomber? Nothing for for now. Who can we reach? I guess we will now attack this anti-tank gun. A rugged defense, of course. our transports from hell to get rid of the 
the remaining, you know, uh, those weakened anti tanks. The same goes for this weak tank. But here. Good. Um, protective screen is important, so... But first we will have to deal with this um, artillery. Very good. Hmm. Interesting. So we attack this tank. Excellent result. Is it three stars? No, but on the next turn, three stars of experience. Tech. Come on, die, please. <coughs> die now. One, two, three, four. Sorry for the mouse. Yeah. This will work. And now we attack this air defense and prevent the enemy from uh, yes, from shooting at us. Perfect. Elite. What to do with you? Okay, fly here. Lead. And with this fighter I guess we will lower the entrenchments of this artillery. If we do some damage, even better. No, no damage. Elite. Two more units remaining to move, but we will only move on the next turn. So let us now save this on Kursk. Zero, zero, 004 give the enemy its turn and then finish this video and I will probably continue with the next video today as I want to do this uh, scenario in three videos so let us see 
One core. Oh, fuck, I'm such an idiot. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I should have purchased a tactical bomber. No, oh my god. Sorry, sorry for this. Okay, now... I am finally purchasing a new unit. Sorry, I forgot. Kursk 004. Okay. Bye guns. So, uh, the turn for the enemy and then we'll finish this video. Exist turn 3, nothing happened. Uh, thank you for watching this, it's been a pleasure, I hope I will be able to do the next video soon, um, all the best from Mr. Critic, and bye bye.